In this video I'm going to talk to you about uncertainty and I'm going to follow on from the previous video using the example that we had in that video. So that's where we had a rectangle with two measurements and we had uncertainties in those measurements. And this time I want to ask the question what's the ratio of those two measurements? So we need z equals a divided by b. We also want to know what delta z is, so what's the uncertainty in z? So if we put the numbers in, we can work out a value, and we refer to this as a multiplicative combination of, of two values, um, and we need this equation for the propagation of uncertainty. Well, now we know the value of delta a and delta b, so we can put those values in along with the values of a, uh, b and z. If we rearrange, then we can calculate the value of delta z. So we've worked out the, the ratio, that's the 1.725, and then we've also got the uncertainty in that value. Now I want to look at an example where we multiply these two values together. So the question is, what's the area of the re rectangle? And z equals a times b, and we also need to consider the uncertainty in z, the delta z. Okay, so to work out the area, we can do that in a fairly straightforward manner. 1.78, 1 times 10 to the 4 centimetres squared. This is referred to, again, as a multiplicative combination, and the equation, again, is shown here. So it's delta z divided by z squared equals delta a divided by a squared, uh, delta b divided by b squared added up. And we know the values of delta a and delta b. We can put those in, rearrange, and work out a value of delta z. And so those two values are there. Now the general form for this, if we have z equals a combination of different variables, uh, and whether we're multiplying them or dividing them, we still have this um, uncertainty equation here for the propagation of uncertainty. So in this case we've got k, which is just a constant, it's just a fixed number, times b, times a times b, divided by c times d. And so for any extra term, whether we're multiplying them or dividing by them, we just add on these extra terms here. And you'll notice that the k doesn't come up in this propagation of errors equation. So we don't need to take that into account here. It's taken into account by the fact that z is calculated using this. So you, you include it when you calculate z, and then z appears in the equation here. So it all just works out for us. OK, so that's been a video about uncertainty focusing on multiplicative prop uh, propagation of errors and uncertainty.